87 degrees, wind at nine miles an hour. Clecker deals. Oh. It's a heater to Cade Curland. He is 10 wins. It's fastball, breaking ball heavy. The breaking ball is the out pitch. He can change the shape of it from time to time. Jack, whatever name you call him, he bats third and a lot of home runs for this Florida team here in Omaha. The velo is going to be like. Breaking ball misses and Langford walks. Hits off the glove of Fontenelle and Trey Richardson recovers to throw out Caglione for out number two here in the first. Have your head on a swivel if you're playing first with Cags up. <laughs> with the two outs and Rivera pulls this one to left. Hey now. Logan Maxwell looks up. It is gone. The homer and Gators strike again and lead in the first. One two to BT Rappel and he strikes out. Cole Fontenelle in the cleanup spot has driven in six here in Omaha. It's a 378 ERA, but Big Ben pitching for the first time since 19 days ago. Yeah, that's what concerns me. And off the plate. Mm. Fastball dotted for strike three called. Right? And, and it's not unfamiliar or uncharacteristic for a guy that third baseman make. Oh, Seven straight balls in this one sends Carson Bowen into scoring position. Well, this is what Kevin O'Sullivan talked about with us this morning. This is lined by Taylor into the gap in right center field, a base hit. Bowen comes around and scores, and Braden Taylor gets TCU on the board. Well, that's how you do it right there if you're Braden Taylor. You've got to get ready for the fastball. You're, you're getting a fastball, but you have to really shrink the zone, right? Middle. 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed. Did you see that ball move? Now that wasn't a normal fastball. Watch this ball move at the end. His fastball looked pretty straight the first few we saw. This one takes down and it gets past BT Ryapel, who by the way is on his second glove this inning. And Taylor's in scoring position. Two outs, three two away and to the backstop. And so Braden Taylor is now at third us in a dugout than, than what we saw. Oh boy. And now Curtis Byrne gets hit. Then he would the normal starter. Threw it here. One two to Silva. Two two. Silva strikes out on 96 from Jack Caglione. Tense moments in this first and TCU settles for one. Clackers one two. Line toward first and pass Fontenelle into right. Second hit for Florida is a leadoff single for Luke Heyman in the second. 2 1. Rolls this one left side at Taylor. Who goes to second and Richardson puts it in his pocket. Now, something tells me that might catch on in Gainesville. Like we might see those at games next year. This is rolled by Colby Halter into center field. Curlin chops it to third and foul. Two out, two on 0 2. And Curlin hits it hard, but right at Anthony Silva. Semi-final round. I mean, it's. <gasps> oh. yeah. Is there one in particular that you really like? Well, I call them Jack because you know. Ability to make that play. And now Eli Nunez chops it to Caglione, who's been busy. Well, Logan Maxwell is at third. D on his face. 0-2 to Bowen, and he strikes out. Caglione doubles up on the change and leaves a man at third. Langford floats this one in foul ground down the right field line and Fontenelle makes the catch. Nicely done. Josh Rivera off the end of the bat to short and Anthony Silva playing this right here. Well, I don't think it's fair everybody throws 100. He, he, he made it a while without a short joke. <laughs> Trey Richardson to Ken Curlin. Josh Rivera makes it two. And Luke Heyman stayed on the bag after taking a tumble. 4-6-3 at the end of the inning. Out. DCU has used one of their challenges. That you've been able to go is, is just incredible. And there are no signs of this deal slowing down. No. And now in their third straight elimination game. Tyler Shellnut pulls it into left to base hit. And it's a two-out knock for Shellnut and a base runner for the Gators in the fourth. Yeah, Klecker continues to elevate the breaking ball. That's the one he's gotten hurt on today. He made some type of ball speed pitch down in the zone. See, that one's elevated again. Ty Evans. We thought we had a really good pitcher. You just don't know until, you know, the season starts and the lights come on. To College World Series trips. Do you think there's a special formula to that? Well, I think to the mound. 
That's going to fall. Oh, Maxwell my gosh. Curtis, we've got this go one fast. into right center. And Curtis Bird. Oh, boy. Oh boy. around. Oh, boy. Rivera's throw. Oh, boy. Got him. Well, yeah. I thought we should have had a little bit better jump uh, just off the bat from second base. I think it cost us, obviously, there at the end. The game's here. 1 0 to Davis. Hopefully, we get a couple more days of it, too, where, like I told you guys before, I don't do squat. Why not just hang out and talk to you guys? At the College World Series. Clacker with a strikeout, one gone. 2 0 to Wyatt Langford is lined over the head of Trey Richardson into right center field. For Wyatt Langford, who motors to second, the throw from Davis does not get him. And finish into the base. First pitch swinging, Jack Caglione rolls it to Trey Richardson in the shift. Top of the lineup for TCU for a third hey, no. time against oh, Jack wow. Caglione, who sails a fastball. He's going to hit the bull. Mount ready? Nunez squares one ready up. to pull the trigger? Only 184 against him. Bowen to right, and he plants it in front of Ty Evans. So Jack Caglione goes four and a third, one run. Taylor on the ground in a right field, a base hit. Bowen to second, and TCU's got two aboard with one out in the fifth. Two on, one out, three two. Ball four. Is down. Adam Jones. Field. Slater's one two. And Richardson strikes out. Two gone. Big time pitch there. Talked about Slater. Pretty good fastball. He likes to sink it down his own. 1 0. Towards second at Curland. And Slater gets out of Dodge. Still to come here on ESPN tonight LSU leaving the hotel and getting ready for another matchup. 3 2. Rivera the opposite way with a base hit. Payoff on the way. And a strikeout for A Belts. One gone. Well, here's that plus fastball. So after a couple fastballs in the outside part of the plate. Now another one, two. And this is pulled into left field, a base hit. What in that bat by Luke Heyman to put two on for Florida in the sixth inning. Yeah, this kid. Now he's just showing off, right? Hang in there. Just dreaming of being a Tiger. Strikes out here. His 0-2. And on the hands of slow roller at Taylor. Inning over. Cal was, I mean, a lot of it's the internal clock, right? And how good your internal clock. Well, that's a fine diving play by Colby Halter to take one away with the one two. Oh, dotted. 92 at the kneecaps. Third K for Ben Abel. Boy, and he has been wearing out the bottom part of the strike zone, too. 2 2. Cool. Yes, he can. Back to back K's. Eli Nunez. <laughs> One two pitch to Nunez and he chases Cade Fisher to the breaking ball for a strikeout and out number one. Cade Fisher got a pretty good fastball. And BT Rappel Whoa. reaches back to make the catch and he's fired up about it. Hey now, BT Rappel sticks with it. Staring down a one two. That he pulls toward the wow. gap in left center field, toward the wall, and in one hops off the wall. Josh Rivera's got a three hit day, and it's a one out double in the eighth inning. They just put on a show, Mr. Rivera. He's now hit a homer to left, a rocket with two strikes to right, and just for a little icing on the top. How about Ben Abel's 2 2? Is a fastball for strike three called. How good is this guy? Big Ben's doing it now. He is doing it. 1-1. One, one. Right at Eli Nunez. How about the strikeout to walk ratio? 66 punch outs, only 19 walks. Richardson on the ground, left side, past the dive of Holter and in the left. TCU's got the tying run aboard in the eighth inning. 1-2. And this is squibbed. Fair ball up the line and nearly tumbling. Two gone. Pulls it in the air. Left center field. Shellnut's on the move, and they can't get there. Richardson scores, and this game is tied. This 
one hits Logan to Maxwell. First pitch to Maxwell aboard with an 0-2. 1-2. Okay. Strike three called. For the number one team in the country, getting ready to go and getting the red carpet treatment. Like Big Ben trying to get a rebound. Uh-oh. Shelna tags it right center. Austin Davis sprints back and can't get there. Tyler Shelnut's got a leadoff double. Thomas squares and butts it toward first at Fontenelle. What a way. You said, Ben, get that first baseman creeping in. Got to. I mean, because that's what, the safest place for a hitter, a right hand hitter. That's where he wants the ball to. Pulls this one in the air to right center. Austin Davis goes back onto the track and jumps up to make the catch. Robertson to third. To be ready. 0-2. Oh, On the ground, left side. Top play in the hole. Silva gets rid of it to first. Not in time. Florida leads. Continue his college career. Langford strikes out. Bowen caps the K. 1-2. Nunez strikes out, one gone. Well, that's the strength of Brandon Neely right there. A high fastball, has some carry. 0-2 pitch. Taylor pulls.